Greetings everyone, Hinterland Customs here, and this is going to be uh, somewhat of a product review of the Calcor 3-in-1 uh, foam cutter. I believe I paid 10 or $12 in US dollars for this on Amazon, I can't quite remember, but I ordered it a couple months ago, and I thought I'd uh, give it a shot here and show you guys what I have. So this foam cutter here... Uh, just top of the box on the back here you see it's got a hot wire tip cutting tip engraver tip safety stand and it comes with replacement wire uh, you can see there just examples um, some people are really artistic really good at carving stuff up I'm not going to be doing that today I'm just gonna cut a few things and see how it works uh, one thing I'm really uh, wanting to try it on is foam board this is a piece I've already cut on a little bit but uh, this is some board that I got, and you can see there it's it's kind of rough here. Uh, this side, this isn't too bad, it's not as bad as it looked. Um, but like this side here, you see it's pretty marred up there. That's where someone took an uh, X-Acto knife and cut part of it and then broke off the other part or whatever. So uh, the first one we're going to do is the wire cutter, which is right here. And uh, I've already got it plugged in. Oh, wait, I don't have it plugged in. So we'll make sure that's accomplished. And then it's just got a little thing right there. We'll switch. Turn it on. Does not take long to heat up. Uh, what I will also do is get something to set this on. Whew. Smoking a little there. Okay. How am I doing? <laughs> All right. I think that's good. I think you can kind of see what's going on there. I'm just going to bring it right down. Didn't draw a line or anything. I'm just going to freehand this. Just let it fall down through. And we're cutting off that rough piece on the edge. go all right and you can see right there it's a tiny bit crooked but it's uh as far as the cut you couldn't ask for a smoother cut that's that's pretty darn good that's uh i like it <laughs> that works nice so you can clean up pieces like this use them for diorama or whatever you use them for that's what i use these for so um what i'm going to do now is take this and we'll do one more let's do it more this is a big old piece this has you see it's got a lot of rough hewn there so what i'll do is just i'll just come in and cut a tiny bit off of that like right here and i want to do it slow i don't want to pull that wire put too much stress on the wire There we go. So that, that cuts them off right there. There's I didn't quite go deep enough on that side. There's still some more there. Look at that. That's pretty nice. Look at how smooth that is. And, uh, that is kind of results I want. So now turn it off real quick. Take it out. Set this down. Set it down there. Now we're going to put in the this one will be let's see. How am I doing? There's a cutting tip, an engraver tip. This is the cutting tip. I think it looks very much like a soldering iron tip, similar to it. So we're gonna put that into the wand there. Turn it on and I 
we on? Let's see. We're on. <laughs> Cut a hole right through that. This this way you can you can you know you can even chamfer. You can use the tips to just create a chamfer there if you wanted to round the edges a little bit. Almost cut the edge there. It's kind of a thin piece to be practicing on. Poke a hole right through it, like knife through butter. Um, write your initials. Whatever. So that, yeah, it's similar to a soldering iron right there. But uh, I've seen where these the guys, like, you can let this sit here and just you can cut anything. It just, it just, and I've seen the, some of the pictures of the artwork people do, you know, they're raking like bricks. You could even, uh, I am a published cartoonist. People don't know that. Little Woody Woodpecker there. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, so turn that off. We'll take that piece out and lay it down. Now, this is the engraving tip, and uh, this one, if you can see it, whoops. I don't know if you can see it's kind of got a cut there. And I do not, I've never messed with this stuff before, so I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I need an artist, an actual artist that uses these, but put it in, turn it on. Uh, let's see, we've got the piece here. What I can tell on this is if you're really light with the touch, let's see, that way, so that with the And right there, you'll see that. So it leaves an indentation as such. What if we do it with the other side? Yeah, it's just a regular, regular cut, basically. But uh, yeah, this, and you can maybe turn it to the side a little bit, get, whoops. Now I think that's about how you do it. Now I'm getting, uh, not so steady hands anymore. I mean, I should have it laying down. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do better on my next passes, but, uh, you see how that works. You practice, have a steady hand. You can make some, make some neat, uh, different marks with it. So, anyway, that is my quick rundown of this tool, which is the Calcor 3-in-1 Foam Cutter. Um, wow, look at that. That's a really cool some that stonework they did there. Um, I think Judy at Dark Dive Studios, I'll have to, I think she's got something similar to this. She does a lot of work like this. So, that's it for now. And I just thought I'd show everybody that. I was kind of excited to use this. And uh, I've got a lot of dioramas and stuff in the future that I'll be using this foam with uh, for bases. So um, it was nice to have a, a tool here now that I can make nice smooth cuts and make it exactly how I wanted it. Uh, some of this foam I got, there was, I got a whole bunch of this that uh, for free. Uh, someone was throwing it away. There was big chunks of it, uh, four feet long. Um, some of it was broken half, some not. So, uh, but there was enough. It'll. Uh, I got enough to keep me busy, for sure. And uh, anyway, again, that's the Calcor three-in-one foam cutter. Comes with the hot wire tip, cutting tip, and the engraver tip, as well as the safety stand and a re replacement wire. It, come, it does come with replacement wire. So, that's it for now. You guys have a good one out there. Hinterland Customs signing off.